What's up, world? Happy belated Labor Day. Another Tuesday morning, day after Labor Day. Man, I hope that you all had a blessed Labor Day, safe. Had time to spend with your family. Time to reflect, a little rest, and get back out on the grind again. Now, this morning, I'm out getting a little, little walk in. You know, that's what I do now that I'm semi-retired. I remember when I was younger, I never thought I would, I would get older. I always thought I would be young forever. You know, but, uh, and yeah, that's not the case with any of us. From the minute we, from the minute we hit the dirt coming out that womb, our days are numbered. You know, and then what Bob says, what is your life? Yeah, it's a vapor that appears for a minute and then vanishes away. Man, we don't believe that when we're young, man. We, we fortified. You know, we think we can do whatever we want to do. We're going to live forever. But, you know, if God blesses you, you know, I'll give you a time to live. You'll rethink that. You'll rethink it. But here, yeah, I'm not here to, to judge any one of us. I want you. God's going to do that by itself. Hey, but um, this morning, I just wanted to drop a little incident that happened to me concerning the trucking industry. And as you see, you know, most of these videos I have on these, uh, these uh, earphones. And when I had my own truck, before I retired, you know, I would keep these earphones inside of my rig, you know, because, you know, a lot of times I'd leave early in the morning to go pick up a load and then head down to wherever I was going to make my deliveries. Let me go. I better get across the street here when I get ran over. The little intersections don't get busy but pretty soon. Don't get busy pretty soon. Right now they getting ready to build a subdivision on the other side of the street here. It's empty. Empty lot. We'll go over there and walk a little bit. Um anyway, um I was uh eating lunch. Uh, I think it was last week. Last week with uh my wife out here and we had, you know stopped and got a burger and uh I forget, it was, it was, the traffic was, it, it, you know, it was getting close to the, to the rush hour time of the evening. But not quite yet, but it was getting there. So, you know, we were, we were getting in there to, to uh, go inside. But as we pulled up, there was a 18-wheeler in the middle of the road. It was a car hauler. And, um, you know, as it would be, driving a truck and you've been driving for a minute and you know you can't get a truck in everywhere you can't get a truck in everywhere so you know i guess this truck started off to put up the medium the, the medium or the middle of the road and to go get something to eat because there were food establishments on both sides of the road but on that part of the road it's a pretty busy day and you got two lanes going both ways and the medium in the middle butts up to an island where it, it goes to the light and you, you have to get over to the turn lane, but you can't run over the medium. So he was butt right up to the medium. So nobody could turn left or right where he was. Normally what people would do is I'll pop in there and turn left or right because it's a short piece of road. Oh, excuse me. But he was blocking it. He was blocking it with his rig. Uh, wife looked at me, she looked at him. She looked at me, I looked at her. She said, that's dangerous. That's dangerous, you know. You know, I agree to a certain point, but being a truck driver, I said, you know what? When your stomach starts growling, you be trying, you you're trying to figure out if you think it's safe, or if you don't think it's safe. But you're gonna, you're gonna take that chance because you don't think you're gonna be in it that long. We'll go in there and get your stuff, come on out. But anyway, we went on in. We made our order. Got us a table. And I had my. My, I had I was facing the road so I could see the traffic and see what was going on. My wife was sitting her back was still she had to turn around and look. But they brought our order and something wasn't right with her order. And as it was, she took it back up there to the counter. Well by this time, before she even got up, we saw this this police car driving in the parking lot, right? And to me in my mind, I'm saying they're gonna come get something to eat. You know, it's it's just 
It's past lunchtime, I think it's between noon and two o'clock. Noon and two o'clock, something like that. And uh, then I didn't think about it anymore. I just started. The food came. So I'm, I'm gonna start, you know, I'm gonna start eating my lunch. And um, after a few minutes, somebody busted in the door. It was a female. She was a lady, uh, lady officer. She jumped in there. She and I didn't pay no attention to it. I said, well, you finna go get something to eat. All of a sudden, I seen somebody start talking. They said, is that your truck out there? Parked in the medium, in the middle of the road. And I didn't really pay any attention because I'm, you know, I'm a retired truck driver. I don't have no relation to that truck out there. I drove up with my own personal car. I said, and then nobody answered. And then she, I looked up and she looking at me and I'm sitting in the corner, ain't nobody over here but me. You know, my wife, well, she, not even, she haven't even made it back yet. She's still at the counter. And she said, excuse me, is that your truck? Sitting out there on the side of the road, in the middle of the media. I didn't know what hold on. She's talking to me, what I said in my mind. I said, ma'am, I said, you see that truck out in that parking lot right there? That's what I'm driving. And she looked at me for a minute. I guess she figured out what this guy must be telling the truth. And so he said, well, I got to find that a-hole who driving that truck out there. Just like that. And she hesitated for a minute and she walked out. So she wasn't there to get no lunch. But, you know, you would normally think that the officer would be doing their job. They would go to the truck, park behind it, put their lights on, walk up to the door of the truck and knock on it. Knock on the door. Bam. You know, hey, you got to move this truck. I've been in that situation at truck stops. You get there too late, you gotta park in a, in a place where it's a red line on the curb. When you sleeping, you know, three o'clock in the morning, somebody knock on your door and says, you gotta move. Lights flashing everywhere, everything going crazy. You gotta move. And then you gotta get up and find somewhere else to move. That time in the morning, you know, there ain't no spots nowhere. Not even a curb to pull on. But anyway, she did do that. She went out to the, she went out to the truck. Lo and behold, the truck driver, is inside the truck. Inside the truck. Now, you know, being an officer, don't you think that would have been the first thing to do? Was sort of go and pigeonhole somebody inside some restaurant and accuse them, not accuse them, almost accuse them of driving the truck because they got earphones on. You know? Everywhere I go, somebody sees his earphones. He's a truck driver. And that may be true. But in my case, I was. I was a truck driver. Yeah, I'm going to wear these things till they stop working. They bought, they bought and paid for them. So all I'm saying is this, man. Life is short. It could have been, been a bad situation. could have been a worse situation. could have been any type of situation. But it depended, it was dependent upon me and my reaction to the officer. You know? Somebody else might have been holy, a whole different thing. A whole different thing. But I just said that, let me say this, man. Enjoy your life, man. You know, respect and love your neighbor. You know, love God first. And then you have no problem with anybody else on this earth. Don't say that you love God. And don't love, don't love, and you hate the person that you sit, you're sitting out here with talking to. How much you hate him. The Bible says you're a murderer. Love, the, love God, love your neighbor. God bless y'all. We have another video coming out. Can you leave a, a comment in the, in the comment section if you have any ideas on uh, what's a good uh, pickup truck to haul maybe one or two pallets around town in? Don't want a diesel, gasoline, Toyota, Ford, Chevy. I mean, what, what, guy, what do you guys think? What do you guys own you think is dependable? And I'm thinking about getting me something and uh, just to be moving about, you know, keep myself busy. And keep my earphones on driving a pickup truck and not a big rig. Stay up under the radar. Well, God bless y'all. Have a great day. And uh, like, share, comment. We'll see y'all on the next go around.